bit first how I end my parties, or um, how I hold them hostage before they're allowed to eat. And this is my, this is my due diligence. This is what I do to keep my business going. Um, I had a great director, Erin Lance is my director, and she taught me from the very first call how important this is to do. It's my due diligence. I often tell the room, there's not a single person in this room that I knew before my Pampered Chef business. So you don't have to tap your family and friends and then be out of business. And this is how I do that. Okay, folks, we've had some serious fun with tonight's preparation, and soon you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. Right now, though, what I want to do is my favorite portion of the party. This is when I specifically get to brag on the company I love so much. We're going to focus on two categories only for this event, questions regarding the business opportunity and hosting a party. Business opportunity questions can be anything you're dying to you know. The nosier, the better. I want you to think of this. If you got a call from Pampered Chef and they wanted to interview you for what would become your career position, your absolute last job, what are the questions you would have to have answered before you'd make that jump? Ask about perks, ask about the daydreams that you have while you're sitting in your cube at work during the day. What would your ideal job look like? And although there are no expectations of this being your career job or even a lifetime commitment, ask me about taking the 30-day challenge. Want to know more? Ask the questions. There are no stupid or silly questions. You may ask me anything about my job not thinking about the job opportunity, but you still want to have an amazing reformation for your kitchen, let's talk a little bit about the hosting experience. Be prepared though, because it's my game, so it's my rules. So I may throw a question out to you, and the person who answers it is gonna get bonus tickets. I have to tell you folks, I am not above guest shaming. Every single one of you must ask me a question. But you're not eating. <laughs> when we are done with the questions, there will be at least one winner. However, depending on your enthusiasm, there could be more than one. The only rule is you cannot win twice. And I'll usually show them what the, gift, the gifts are, and truly I never know if it's going to be one gift or if it's going to be three. If I have an overly enthusiastic group, they're going to, I'm going to, this is an investment in my business. Okay, so we go through and we do the ticket activity, and if people aren't asking questions, I am walking up to them and I am saying, Mandy, don't you wanna know exactly where I went for vacation and exactly how much I spent? And she goes, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell her, and I throw tickets at her, and people are like, hey, and I'm like, my game, my rules. We have fun with this. This is not something to be afraid of. I challenge them to stump me. If I don't know the answer, you get three times the tickets, but I will call you and I will follow up with you, okay? So we go through that game, we get the questions answered. I will caution you though, don't just pay attention to the people that are shouting out these questions for the tickets for the free mixing job. The people who are silently listening tend to be the ones that I have more progress with during my checkout chat because they're truly processing in their mind, could I do this? I could do this, I could do this, okay? So we do the game, we go through, we get the winners, okay? And so this is what I let the guests know. We're done with the game. When you have eaten and you have finalized your order, come see me for the checkout. I usually do it away from the party. I do it somewhere where I can have a quiet chat with the person. I'm going to ask each and every one of you if what I did tonight was anything that you could do. Come on, folks, let's face it. What did we do? This was easy. Anyone could do it. If you don't think so, think of someone who might want to rock this business. I love referrals. Oftentimes, I recruit people whose mom went to one of my parties, went home, called their kid, and they called me, okay? I'll ask you if your wish list exceeds your wallet, when are we having your party? And I give them two dates, and I have my host packet sitting right next to me, okay? We need party throwers, and we need party goers. So don't be afraid to hurt my feelings. You can tell me no. You're perfectly allowed. I found that when I gave permission for somebody to tell me no, people became much more forward and no one was coming up and sneaking their order form there because they didn't want me to ask them. It's okay. So I challenged them. I'm going to ask you, did you 
you like the business? Do you want extra money? Do you want to host a party in your own home? Do you know anyone who will? Okay. It really is as simple as getting your tribe together, picking a theme. Boys versus girls is one of my favorites because I will tell you when boys are at your shows, your party doubles. They all want to eat at home and they will invest in the tools to do so. That's been my experience. All right, and then all you have to do is show up. So I encourage you to book your party soon. People know what they're doing in the next 10 to 14 days. They have no idea in the next two to three months. Book them in close and never give up on a month because you only have one party and it's already the third of the month. That's, you got plenty of time to save it, okay? So I close with this and I say, finally, I consider tonight my privilege to have been invited to Sue's home and introduced to all of her lovely friends. I hope I can become your friend too and invite you to friend request me on Facebook and join my VIP community at Kim's Crafts and Country Creation, Kitchen Creations. I'll help you find the group at checkout, so be sure to have your phone ready. Join during our checkout and receive a gift either added to your order or to take home tonight. Guests with orders of $75 in product or more receive a free gift from the company, and you'll see that at the bottom of your order form. Guests with orders of $100 or more get to take an item home from my $100 bag. And this is just something that I keep filled with products out of our outlet so that I don't threaten anyone's order or the host total, okay? Um, so they get to go home with a gift. So that is basically how I set up my clothes and how I get everyone ready to come to the checkout chat. I am primarily home parties. I do all of my bookings for the most part from my parties. So I'm very, very diligent about this. But just points that I always want to touch on during my closeout is um, found it hard to ask people, so I give them the permission to tell me no. I try to touch on all elements of the business, which are selling, booking, and recruiting. I don't just wait till my closeout. I do a lot of like what my, um, who did the opening? Uh, Caitlin, Caitlin does in her opening, and I sprinkle it throughout my party. Um, I also talk to them about how I get all of my products because I don't pay for anything of, of my products. I get them free as a director or I earn them during an incentives. I also make sure that somebody asks me or I tell them to ask me about my vacations, about the sense of community and family I feel within my group of other directors and team. And I always laugh and say, I was that mom that had 75 friends on Facebook. I was so proud. And now I have over a thousand and it's all because of my business. Okay, so I share that with them. And then I always talk about the kit options and how hosting a party can defer some of those costs if they wanted to, or they could just jump right in. And I tell them at that point too, hey, if the host decided to start her business off this party, how many of you here would be willing to book a party for her, with her? And whoever raises their hands, and then I have a clear in with the host, even though I've talked to her several times before and she's told me no. So those are the elements that I always try to include before I do my clothes and start my checkout process. So, thank you.